Good morning. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the channel for another episode of Final Fantasy Rebirth. But before we start, I wanted to uh, kind of do some housekeeping here. I did just want to say that I have had such a blast reading a lot of y'all's comments. Thank you for so much support. Um, not only the kind words, but you guys have also given a lot of tips that have helped. So I did just want to address some of those. First of all, we will not be getting stuck in rocks anymore because a couple of y'all had suggested that there is a terrain navigation setting. So I did go ahead and turn that on. I also wanted to tell you guys that I am activating the two bonus summons that I got that I forgot to activate and that is a perfect case of I tell you guys this all the time like a lot of times when I'm recording or streaming streaming especially because I'm navigating the game chat everything I'm thinking about 20 things at the same time but when I'm recording it's no secret I just sometimes I read something but it's like you know um that was a perfect case in point is it told me that I had summons in the DLC menu in the game and I never opened that. So we're gonna go activate Leviathan and um, there's a second one. So we are gonna do that. I also wanted to, I saw a bunch of comments about you guys excited for Final Fantasy X. I did just wanna clarify, I wanna make sure that I'm tailoring y'all's expectations. I never wanna like let you guys down in any sort of way or make you guys feel like I promised something and I'm not delivering on it. So I do just want to clarify what I was saying was that it will be the next Final Fantasy that I play, but not necessarily the next game I'm gonna play. I do have a couple other games that I wanna go back to. Um, after Final Fantasy, if you guys have been supporting me for a while, then you probably already know this, but I very rarely will go back to back with genres or franchises uh, just to avoid fatigue, like purely to keep that kind of joy and um, excitement alive. And I do find that as somebody who has an insane amount of consumption of games happening all the time, uh, if I'm staying in the same category for a little too long or with the same franchise, I just personally have found that I get a little winded. So in order to avoid that, we aren't going straight into Final Fantasy X, but I do want you guys to know that you can expect to see it at some point this year. I really am excited to sink my teeth into another one. We got to experience 16. We did two Final Fantasy games last year, right? Part one and 16. So this year I want to do the same part two and 10. But yes, that will not be coming out right after. So I just want you guys to know. Uh, other than that, there were a bunch of other tips um, from different kind of things of how to battle, you know, leaning into my strengths and everything thing so I really appreciate it like I wanted to make this intro just kind of like a thank you to all of you guys for all of the comments because they do mean the world to me so with that I think we got some side question to get back to I'm excited to see how this terrain looks hopefully it's not too intrusive on the gameplay if it is at that point we'll go back into the menu and turn it back off but I think it's gonna help us so as always please keep sharing tips and tricks as long as they're not spoilers um as long as they're not spoilers. But yeah, thank you guys for all of the love and support on this series and, and just champion on my love for Final Fantasy. I really just can't thank you guys enough for helping. I, I think you guys have definitely been a driving force for the, I guess, the bonus enjoyment of this playthrough, because obviously I want to make sure that you guys are enjoying what kind of content I'm bringing forth to you guys. Um, and I think you might be liking this playthrough. I think you might be, because <laughs> I know I am. So it's it's that sweet spot when I know that you guys are enjoying it just as much, if not more than than I am as well. So with that, let's dive back into the main game. We are picking up, we're still in chapter four. We're gonna be picking up with those side missions, kind of finishing up those side missions, and then we're gonna be heading topside. So let's get going. All right, guys, so let's just hop over to the system. Let's go to DLC and bonuses, and let's go ahead and download these guys. So Leviathan first, an orb has been acquired, and then Ramu, that's right, Ramu, Ramu, Ramu. I could never say his name in 16 either. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, we now have claimed those, so let's go ahead and head to material and equipment. I also am going to, uh, no, she's good to go. Cloud has one. I'm actually going to switch clouds. I like having, oh, should we do Leviathan? Oh. No, you know what? For the sake of one of my favorite, oh, 
I've got to go with this because of FF16. Yeah. Y'all knew I had a sweet spot for him. Uh, okay, let's go Leviathan for Tifa. And then Barrett does not have anybody either. We'll give him Chocobo and Moogle. <laughs> and then I'm also going to redeem myself and get Titan and get Phoenix as well, guys. That was just a downright embarrassing. All right, going to combat settings for whatever we're going to do. We are going to get Aerith on our team. So I am going to switch over here, but I am going to take Red off and put Barrett, Aerith, and Cloud. I think that's a devastating combo. So... Now that we're done with all of our Queen's Blood, let's hop and skip over to... Oh. Um... How do we even navigate over there? The Society. Crow's nest. Pretty sleek, right? Maybe we can get to it from over here. Of the crow's nest. Listen, I gotta pick it up. I also kinda wanna just start with one Queen's Blood mission, but no, 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 it's fine. Okay, I know where this is. <laughs> Let me guess. Da, da, da. Mm. There is more up here. I think this is the route we have to go to get up there. Yes, wow, look at all of this. It's a little shanty town. It reminds me of the gypsy towns in Fable 3, or 2, Fable 2. Yes, this has got to be it. Ah. Oh. It's hard for me to imagine Junon region. It's so hard for me to imagine that any of the other Final Fantasies are even more beautiful than this, but I'm sure it's possible. I'm sure. Okay, scoop the whoop on those. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, this should lead us up the right path. We'll come back and grab those pieces later. Oh my, okay, never mind. He never can just fall off like that. Okay, so I did turn on the terrain marking. Does it show you if it's not? Wait, let me like, just double check. Okay, well, it's doing something right now. I thought I turned it on. I turned it on the title menu. Maybe I need to... Let me see. Let me go here. I absolutely turned it on, though. Options. Gameplay. It was down here, right? Terrain action guide on. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. I don't know if I was expecting a giant X to pop up wherever you can't climb. Maybe. Cloud, baby. Oh, come on. Oh, even Aerith can climb that? Hmm. There's something really cute about the windmills, too. Okay, this is definitely the right way. Nice bridge construction. Condor Hill. All of the flowers. Oh, the bird watching society. Oh, ho, care to join us, young lady? We've got a lovely bridge Sorry, what? Going today. <laughs> you certainly do. Oh, he's talking to so, Tifa. What are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the great condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all. This is caretaker. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. <laughs> Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. I love it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, we have to make it show for him. Lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. Uh... I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but... Um... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, I love his plaid and his best. Turn down <laughs> such an offer. Ask about the condor. Do you think this is related to it scooping one of the black-robed men? 
It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest in a small island just a stone's throw from here. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it. Keep tabs on its well-being and whatnot. That's too sweet. Ask how he was saved. Back during the war, I was running from some Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. Mm. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor fly. I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. The feed. It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. Likes the thrill of if the hunt. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. Okay. We just need to find something enticing. But so far, we've only seen it claim a person. So... Thank you. Kyrie? No, just kidding. <laughs> One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. Oh. I can't help but feel disappointed when I don't see it for a time and a little worried. You'll find something tasty for it, won't you? Yes. I, I can't help but feel disappointed when I so don't see it. So this is the hunting society. This is Oh, but if we place something here for it to grab, then it will come up real close. And I'll get to see him. Wow, nice chopped wood right there. Um, I do want to go grab Snaps' spot over here. And we can actually go to this rest spot anyway. Um, where do we just finish? Okay, let's just finish this spot. Yeah, we'll finish one side mission at a time. I knew there were hunting grounds. Yeah, I was wondering if they were related to this. Okay. A bovine will do nice. Look, over there. Am I supposed to? I'm supposed to quietly approach and... Okay. I'm gathering a whole cow for it. Something about this feels very Witcher-esque. Okay, get behind it. He saw us? No. He saw us. There Shoot. There goes the condor's dinner. Maybe we can track its scent. Yes. Uh, red? Oh, Belle was... Bell was on her way before I even called that. Okay, get the scent, Bell. We should have a yellow indicator. Did we see it go this way? No, oh, I need to get her to smell where it had been to be able to track it. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. I think. Right? It was right over... Yeah, it was... Oh, there it is. Okay, smell belly. Oh, that's right. I have to change directions. There it is. They're so expressional, these birds. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, back up just a little bit and then go back over here and then get it. Oh, my. Oh, no, no, it's already tracked it. There it is. There's nothing to dig for, of course. Okay, onward. Mmm, that way. Maybe it's backed itself into a corner. Mmm. The chocobo. Okay, I don't see it. This is like the faint glow trail from Fable. It's so damn hard to see. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh no, it's getting bullied by some mandrakes. We gotta save it, only to kill it. I keep forgetting that I'm... Dude, the Punisher mode's so good, I need to remember it. Oh, use her thing. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna end up killing it. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I was like, it's gonna end up dying, but I need to cast for her, uh, staff. 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. No, the poor cow. Oh, no. You've got to be joking me. A chocobo could track him. Yeah, but still. Oh, that poor cow has been through the thick of it. I feel like this is the perfect time to be drinking out of my cow mug, but I, I it's downstairs. I, I had to wash it. This makes sense. I was wondering why he was saying that I'd have to use a chocobo to climb to get up there. That sounds about right. Oh no. He's probably already dead, which is supposed to make us feel better about taking a whole cow. Dishonor to you. Dishonor to your cow. Guess it's in here. Yeah. Let's go. Quite the layer, the wormhole. Did I never find this area before? No, I did. I did run through here. I think I did. Hold on, let me deselect. Okay, that area did deselect. Okay, this is a quick quest. We could have done this. <gasps> That's our dinner. Okay, well now's the perfect time to use Aerith's ability, so let me... Don't overdo it. Mystic Dragon, though, I need to... Okay, I need to assess it. I got your number. I got your number. An airborne lizard that lives in caves. It mutated after consuming creatures exposed to Mako from the underwater reactor. As a result, its flesh has begun to rot while this creature, while this creature still lives and breathes. Inflicting enough damage will pressure it, but once pressured, it will fly high into the sky. It's um, on you. I'm coming. The only downside is I don't have wind. He's going for me. <laughs> Woo! I know, I know, I know. Radiant ward. Okay, so this is a different type of ward. <laughs> Wow. Wait, that's actually really cool. Let's do a chrono as well. All right, slow him down with chrono. You know what? I do need to get a prey going. Go Punisher. Get back here. Let's do Sonic Boom. Oh. Take the lead. Here goes. Cut. Okay, cast it, cast One it. Shot. This is cool. This is such an interesting ability. Conjure a ward that grants invincibility while casting spells, strengthens Aerith's, Aerith's basic attack. Let's also steal I some MP from it. Been shot. Staggered. Now let's do. Deals magic damage to nearby enemies, but let's do Soul Drain to get. I don't need any MP back, though. Does it give MP back to my other characters? Let me see. No, I think it just solely gives it back to her. Overcharge that. Let's go Sonic Boom. Yeah, I like this ward better. Let's do Jetstream. Jetstream will be great for it. Ooh. Why don't you lead the way? Okay, let's do another prey. And then let's do a synergy. Firework blade. Oh, we haven't done a lot with Aerith. Not like the most vicious damaging attack that we have, but that was still good. Still good. Not bad. Okay, let's do Radiant Ward again. This one's for you. Flame Belch. Okay, he's coming down. Let's hit him with a. You know what? He might still be susceptible, kind of, to a blizzard. Don't overdo it. So it's my turn. Pressured. She has arrow. He's dead. Surely. She has arrow. <laughs> What do we do now? Monster flesh? Bovine meat? Peculiar greens? I mean... Monster flesh, the bovine meat. I think we have to go bovine meat, right? 
Do you think he wants particularly the monster flesh? What did the man say about it as far as what he eats? He likes the challenge of the hunt, though. Uh, the bovine meat was what we were supposed to be tracking all this time, but maybe the monster flesh is something that would be more tantalizing. I gotta go with the bovine meat. I mean, look how much, if we're talking like muscle and fat ratio, meat ratio, you're gonna get a lot more out of the bovine. And he's already dead. He's already dead. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that. Yeah. Can we still take the greens, though? Maybe he's a vegetarian. Okay, but by the fact that he completely scooped up that other man, something tells me he is not a vegetarian. All right. Oh, you're back. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. You can put the food right over there. Thank you. Oh. We'll see. This is quite the cut of meat. I've no doubt the bird will be unable to resist the call of such fine dining. That is quite the sirloin we got there. So he just smells it. Gotta oh my. Say, it's kind of nice looking up and seeing a blue sky. Eats a steel one, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Though at least with a steel sky, you know your limits. Out here, it's endless. That's I so true. I kind of get what Aerith was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look! Hmm? It's beautiful. Oh. What a sight! I never dreamed I'd be able to see it up close like this. Ah, uh, oh, wait, we have to get a photograph. <laughs> Grab the camera. Yes, sir. You gotta get him in the Come shot on. with it. Gather around, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Oh, <laughs> Say cheese. Oh. <laughs> what? Such a feel-good mission. So, snap any good shots? I hope so. It just showed up. I could barely hold my camera and... Oh, no. Really? Couldn't tell from a shot like this. Oh. Now he'll have a picture forever with it. Ah. <laughs> well, I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad. <laughs> it's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating. You never know what to expect. Well, Scouts, let's finish writing up today's report and start preparing for our next fateful encounter. Sir! He's and so cute! <laughs> next time, we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir! Miss? I'd like you to have this as a souvenir. Oh, this will work as a well-composed <laughs> condor. Wow! Warding material. Nice face, Cloud. Dreaming in blue skies. Your relationship with Tifa has changed. That was definitely a feel-good sweet mission. I blew it again, just like I always do. I really am nothing but a colossal failure. Oh no, that was a fantastic. I wonder if she'll circle back around when we're talking about the photographer guild or whatever it is. But that ends today. Next time I'm gonna snap the perfect shot. I think you already did. <sighs> I blew okay. it again. She has the same conversation. Like I, I want to talk to him. We haven't had a sighting like that in who knows how long. And it's all thanks to you. They have an altar for it, like... You know, I ought to get a nice frame for that photograph. I wish we could bring him a frame. I've never had the privilege of seeing a condor up close like that before. <laughs> My heart is still pounding. Although, it's strange for the condor to come this far down. I'd hate to think fiends have been messing with its food supply. Mm. Poor bird's got enough problems. You know, I think why I like these missions and wow, we can see them in the distance. I think uh, another part of this and why like another layer to why I enjoy the game so much is there is a lot of hardships that a lot of them are endearing. But at the end of the day, there's always this strong sense of community. And I do find that that can be hard to it can be hard to gather. I think nowadays, like it can be hard. You it's. 
I feel like it requires time and attention to create or find the community that you feel like you belong to, um, especially with the hustle and bustle of everything going on. I mean, you can say what you will, but I think there is a little bit obviously less going on here. I mean, it's not like they have, they have photos and all this stuff, right? But it's not like they have all this social media or anything like that. There's not like the same sense of go, go, go. Now, maybe in the like inner cities there might be, but there's just this stronger sense of community that I think is brought on by, oh, we need to actually go back down for snapshot. That's brought on by maybe needing more things to do with their day. I talk about this concept a lot with my siblings about how, you know, pre-phones and everything, it's like we have the same number of hours in a day, but there's so many options to do. And I feel like there's only so many choices that we can successfully make in a day. And so when there's an abundance of choices, you almost get like, like you almost freeze up. I think about it with, you know, you go shopping at a store that has 10,000 options of things to buy. You're not really gonna be able to hone in on that one thing you really, really, really wanna buy. I'm just talking nonsense now, but. I think that's why I always just come back here and I feel this happiness and joy every single time. Get up. All right. So I need to hop up. There it goes. Scenic spot. I love when he does little flappy birds. All right. So we just need to, oh yeah, this is a great shot. Okay. Menu and it's something different, photo mode. All right, let's hide party. Do we have cloud in the shop? Hide menu. Oh, guys, we got new things. We got a new frame. Which was the frame we got? <gasps> June on Jubilee. Oh, yes, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Filter. Let's make it like old world. Maybe black and white. Ooh, that's, no. They're all too much. <laughs> Royalty. Grassland Skies was the one we got. We're gonna go normal. Exposure, tilt. Hmm. I think I just want to zoom out a little bit. And then I need a tilt going on. No, 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 no tilt, no tilt. Camera position. Filter, exposure. I think that's fine. It's not beautiful. It's not beautiful. Share your scenic photo. Meh. It'll do, it'll do. All right, done. Let's fast travel back up here and then we're gonna encounter Kyrie again. I should have known it was her. All right, I'm gonna use a cushion, heal up for whatever we encounter. Beautiful. Come here, Belle. Not Belle. I forgot I turned the I turned the brightness down on my this monitor so low because I was playing this indie game and it was a true flashbang of an experience. But now I, I forgot to turn it back up, so everything looks so dark to me, which is so opposite of Final Fantasy. There's another Chocobo. They certainly poured their energy into the promotional aspect. Yeah. I'd be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. Oh my gosh, she gave her Chocobo a matching hat. I can't. Stop. I mean, this is quite the Merc experience. How has she swindled her way into so many things? It's almost impressive. And this is right by, oh, this is also right by, I had a bench. I think it auto saves when you use a bench though, so let me do it. Mm, 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 mm. Nope, it doesn't. 
All right, what does she have on sale? I feel like I'm promoting her by buying stuff at this doll. I don't like it. I don't like it. Healing, poison. Alpha Doug Bengal is actually 800. I'm gonna buy it. If it's on sale, we buys it. If it fits, it eats. I don't think somebody has the ability to level up. I do want to go look at the materia. There was a allows you wind and poison. I'm gonna remove poison off of her. There's a new yeah warding. Poison, binding, time, subversion, petrify, poison, and petrify. <gasps> There's a poison and petrify one that we can get. Empowerment, fortification, dismemberment, enervation, reduce buff duration by 25%. We'll go ahead and link it to poison until I get the petrification one too, like the duo one. We'll go ahead and add it to that. She's got item master materia. Increases item efficiency by 30%, which is important to remember she has. Auto unique ability. Auto unique is already maxed. I don't think that's necessary for her specifically. I think it would be better to have wind on her. Hmm. Level two wind. I, before we like go into fights with different characters, I need to go back through and check what I have assigned to each and every character. Also, let's see if that alpha dunk is gonna be stronger on somebody. He's got Sailor's Bracer, 1818. Alpha dunk, yeah, but then he loses a slot. Can we make it an advanced alpha dunk? Let me go to item transmuter. Hmm. I should be able to advanced, yeah. But it's not gonna give it any more slots. That's the only downside. It might be advanced. But we're not gonna get any more from it. Ugh. Unlocked. Oh my goodness, Kyrie. Greetings. Kyrie, Merc of Junon. And you are. Oh man. Here I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, you made people well, climb up. thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. I was gonna say, it's a mountain you have anything. to climb to get to her. Nobody's gonna do that. Quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Uh, what even is a Merc? Nobody really knows. <laughs> and besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here. Or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. Ugh. Since you suck so bad at self promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. Okay. Like, what's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested. Sounds like a one way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at that, Red. <laughs> Allergies. What? <laughs> Shut up! This thing can talk? I'm not a thing. Indeed. Aww, aren't you just the most adorable boy? Growl incoming. Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to mama. <laughs> now she's disrespecting Red. She, they just don't want to give her a lot of reasons to be <laughs> liked. Yikes. Okay, scratch that. All right. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done. But not to worry. I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. Oh no. Oh no. This is the app. No. Pretty good, right? Oh no. Lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has <laughs> nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a Merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Get her. Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. Pass. Okay, no, no, no. We want one of those. No. Dangerous hers now. We have to fight. 
I, I jest a lot. I don't think she's the most annoying character. I just think... Uh, it's the, it's the, um, I don't know. It's, it's the whole mess of her acting like she's a merc and it's just a whole, she's got, I mean, granted she does have plushies and the song is kind of catchy. I hate to love it, but I do kind of like it. And what she's done with the office, it, it does look nice. Oh man, your privacy guaranteed. What is this? We're here to serve. She's been making signs over here. And I do like her outfit. She's got flowers. I love this. Your privacy guaranteed. Kyrie. She's like the thorn in our side though. She, oh, she embodies the perfect little sister. That's what it feels like. Yes. All right. And she's pushy. Oh, wow. Now insulting how I am at my job. Yep. Absolute little sister vibes. And that comes from somebody who is the little sister. Fire. Keep it together. I'll take care of them. I saw you take that hit, you know. Wow. You the pro? It's your turn. Yes, it's my turn. She's antagonizing me and I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's do an electric impulse. You got this. I got it. You, <laughs> don't overdo it. So it's my turn? More <laughs> plan! <laughs> what? These losers ought to be easy pickings for a merc like you. Board shift? <laughs> I think I'll use Aerith more now that she cast this. Like, I'm really liking this one. You can do it! Yeah. Overcharge? And then let's do a fire? It'd make for a great commercial. Oh my goodness. It's on you. you know, oh. I, can, I think we're almost done. She's not as annoying as the character that I despised in Spider-Man, but close. Gotta go for it now. Close. Let's see. Let's do Bio. Biora. So long. The boss is getting this might be better. Oh. There's more. That's it. Now, Ignis. Ignis are susceptible to freeze, but I don't have freeze. Let's do Jetstream on one, though, just for fun. Oh, he doesn't have any. How many more are there? <laughs> Okay, let's do Sorcerer's Storm on her. And catch. I saw you Massive I stagger I damage. For this one. Yep, we're going to be working on using Aerith more. Oh, she's got limit. Not that I need Stay to heal, but still. So. Carry on. Mm, synergy ability. Blade on Flan. On it. Need my help, do you? That's fun. I like observing it from the side too. Let's do a bio again. Level two bio on plan A. And then we'll do a. Let's do bonus round. Hang back. <laughs> Spells. Let's do Blizzard. I still don't have Blizzard level two on him. Chill. Nice, Dagger. You're done. Punisher Go mode. Big plan. What the hell? White moose. What? Mutated flans that have absorbed Mako polluted seawater and thus become poisonous. They swallow their prey whole, slowly weakening these unfortunate victims with their bodily fluids. Hitting them with elemental damage will pressure them, but also cause them to develop a resistance and begin absorb absorbing that element. Once they gather enough energy, they will unleash a powerful magic attack. Okay, so hitting them with elemental damage will pressure them. But also call okay. So we need to constantly use different elemental. Okay. So oh I don't like that. Let's limit. Ascension. 
B. Keep it together. I'm coming. I gotta give it my all. Let's go ahead and cast an arcane one. I need to get back in the arcane. Devour. Uh, Chrono. Nice dagger damage. And then we're gonna do. It's your turn now. Let's do this. So we can pressure them. Let's keep pressuring them with different elementals. Overcharge. Oh, massive damage. Let's go. Fireball blade. Oh, he's just soaking up every hit I cast. No flurry. Bundle up. Bundle up. Focus thrust. Here goes. Oi. I need to get a heal going. Wait, I'm so close to my limit. Actually, I have my limit. No! Nice, we got level up, so we can do that too. And then we can use Prey for me. Let's dagger. Let's go ahead and apply any kind of stuff we have. Blizzard. After you. Go ahead and cast Synergy Ability, Firework Blade. You ain't gonna get away. Mm -hmm. and then let's hit him with the thunder level two and he should die. That's over. And now I know why I wasn't getting any customers. Nobody could get past all those ugly. It was that. I'm glad you learned something. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow. Oh my gosh. Gear designed by hey. Kyrie. <gasps> We got chocobo gear though. Okay. With mama? Come on, you know you do. Get her red. <laughs> okay, later. I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. Uh huh. You and me both. <laughs> my dudes. <laughs> what have I done to I deserve saw the this? Monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. Toby. But it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She moved on. Bummer. <laughs> well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh yeah, Rhonda was telling me you do Merc work on the side too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything. Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. What? But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Oh my goodness, yes, because if we get those glasses for our chocobo, it will be so worth it. <laughs> Toby's chocobo, please. Avalanche by day, traveling marks by night. <laughs> I don't know how you dudes find the time to do that it chocobo all. is so cool. Feel like we should probably rope this place off. Don't want anyone else wandering inside and making trouble. The only downside is, now that I realize side missions can give us chocobo gear... But on the flip side, am I going to be reminded of Kyrie every single time I have her stuff on my chocobo? Yes, but I still kind of want it. Ugh. It feels wrong, but I want the hat. The hat was cute. The hat was so cute. Maybe I hate to, it's a, that we hate to love her. It's like, it is the annoying little sister. All right, so we did level up, though, across the board. So I think Barrett, we could definitely get something. Weapon level four, skill unlocked. Wait, what is this one? Limit gauge stagger increases the limit gauge charge rate by 5% upon staggering an enemy. <gasps> Physical safeguard applies the protect status when entering into battle. Know this. Next question. Somebody else has, yeah, all of them increases max HP. We're gonna have to save up for that. But Tifa, we can upgrade. Tifa has some. Max HP up by 200 or slightly fills the ATP gauge at the start of the battle. Mm, this one just for now this one then we'll eventually go over there hold on what's gonna give us the path over here oh this should probably form after oh there's so many ah uh, uh the only other people no i'm gonna wait for them to have 10 it's not worth it right now all right so let's zoom on back to chadley which i know this is the first Hours already going to be all of these other things, but we do need to go back and see Rhonda. 
But for now, I think most of the stuff is done. Toby doesn't need anything from us. So we're going to head over to Chocobo Ranch, to Gabe's Ranch, I should say. Uh, Gabe's Ranch, I want to apply my new gear on my Chocobo, and then I think we should try to fight Titan again. Or no, we'll do the fight for Titan at the end, because we've already started with a lot of side missions. The Merc Cap, I can't. Oh my gosh, I hate it, but I love it. They can wait, the colors. Wait, edit colors. Whoa. Created color set. <gasps> I didn't even see that. Wait, and I also have Merc legs. But I can't, okay, no, we are not doing her Merc legs. I'm gonna do this. No, I don't like the blue. The red looks the best because it matches her legs, you know? I'm gonna do nothing. The normal. Normal. Because it kind of like, it helps us have that blue and that red together. Yes. All right, let's call Belly. Let's see it. But we do need to get Toby's glasses. Oh. Oh my goodness. Look, she looks so happy. Now I'll think of her every single time. <laughs> so let's zoom on back to under Junon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me see if I can talk to Rhonda about hey, anything. There. What were you thinking sending Sam back alone like that? Ah. He even need us in the first place. Yeah. Your mother gives Stamp a run for his money. Mm. <laughs> so, how's my son? Seem okay? Yeah. You're gonna stand there and pretend this wasn't all about Claire oh. and her bun in the oven? <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from this stubborn ass tree. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Wouldn't know about that. And if you're done making wisecracks, I got work to do. I like her. You did a good job today, boy. Someone's getting extra pets. No. He's so cute. He reminds me so much of one of my good friend's dogs. Do you think it's going to be a little boy or a little girl? <laughs> I bet you can't wait to find out either, can you, Sam? I'm going to go ahead and guess. Little girl. I think little girl. Um, I don't think there's anything else from the shop, so I think we just need to go talk to Priscilla. There's something charming about under Juno. Oh, snaps. Yes. Hey there. Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Good going. Mm. Association was impressed too. Bumped you up a rank. Okay. Your technique isn't exactly where it needs to be, but you've got promise, that's for sure. If I'll work you can on develop it. your talents more, I guarantee you'll go places. I'm now a sure. budding Is photographer. Put some respect on it. Uh, should we do Chadley? No, I do want to continue my mission. So we'll talk to Priscilla. We're going to go topside. Can you imagine how hustling and bustling the city upstairs is going to be? Upstairs. All right, before we do this, though, I'm going to run to the bathroom. Priscilla and Mr. Dolphin. Oh, hey, you guys. <laughs> we talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up. She have seaweed in her hair. Sure, I'd be happy to. Kind of plant. Although Yuffie's the one who found it, and according to her, huh? that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. Like climbing it, scaling See that? it. That booth oh. up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Mm. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is. How are we supposed to get to the controls? We got a break in. Yep. It should just say no climbing. Uh, so we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like, like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then. Squeak, squeak. I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Cloud. Hey. We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that <gasps> sound? 
Okay. It would have taken promise. like two more seconds. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam. Oh, oh. gotcha. <laughs> awesome. All right, then. Now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. I wonder if the dolphin was in the original. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? I think we know who. Yeah. Mm hmm. Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. I would say no. Good to go. You will not be able to return to Underjunam for some time. I think we're good to go. Fast travel is unavailable. And we have to say goodbye to Belle. Follow the dolphin. You would think they'd know that this is a way to exploit it. But how am I going to get the others up? I guess once I, once I put the... Oh, if we lowered the ship down first, then maybe they could climb aboard. Steer Mr. Dolphin into the beach balls. He loves so much to get him excited and speed up. If you're swimming fast enough in enough time, he will be able to launch Cloud up to the control room. Do you guys remember this game? Oh my gosh, we used to play it all the time in like middle school and I think even like high school. Um, it was the dolphin game online where you would get up to like the sky and then eventually get into space. <laughs> Perform sharp terms. Okay. Come on, all right. <laughs> How do you really hold on to his fin like that, though? Oh, gosh. This is a whole nother level of racing. It's also bright as I'll get out. Okay. Hit the beach balls. Oh, I missed those beach balls. I missed it. I missed it. Shoot. Okay. Nice. Beach balls. Oh. Okay. Oh, 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 sorry. No, there's no way we're getting fast enough. This is difficult. No. I mean, I hope I launch up there, but I don't think it's going to happen, guys. Sharp turns, sharp turns, sharp turns. Oh, no. There's no way we're getting launched up. There's no way. Oh. 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 I should not have gotten that. <laughs> nice going, man. I'll take it though. Let's go. Do mm -mm -mm -mm. do. You really just have to hit the final ones, I guess. Markers, control room, here we go. So we need to start by lowering it first. That's freaky, I don't like it. So bright. Wow, look at the massive, like, screws. All aboard. Okay, your ride's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. As long as there's not another sea monster. Oh. If we don't sink on the way. <laughs> I'm surprised Red isn't joking about the water more than him. Red. <laughs> It's just a little bit of water. Careful. Oh my gosh, look how much it's sinking in the back where he is. Uh, no prop. Well, guys and girls, and uh, dog, I'll see you later. Mr. Dolphin. Uh. It's 
a clever way, though. <laughs> hey, Mark, we're good to go down here. How is he gonna hop on top of it, though? Oh, he has ladders to get. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's um, I think there's a route to get up. Lift the tanker into the city. I'm surprised they wouldn't have security, though, checking on it. Goodbye. Meet you at the top. What? Oh, that's the route that I'm going to have to go? Is that why he looked over there? Oh, cutscene. Helicopter. Mr. President, the new president, Rufus. Look at the pinup doll on the airship. Rufus. He loves his dogs. <laughs> oh. Ten hut. That is so impressive. The uniformity. How can they do that without glasses, though? I feel like I would need sunglasses in that moment. Just be so bright. All right, do not aerodrome lower level. This is actually, this is a small little detail. Okay, the ship is right there. We're up at the top, oh. See, I was thinking it was because it was up above us, so it was casting like a massive shadow. But this went down, this went up with it. Maintenance passage, okay. I didn't realize that the control tower went up with it. Oh, I thought they were ping pong. <laughs> ping pong. It's an interesting pattern on them. Got schematics for something. Aircraft. Even that right there, the, the airship looked so different in contrast to the helicopter, like two very different styles, I think spanning from multiple different time periods. It's just an interesting collision of architecture and design. Can't something, water is cola. Ah, Music change. There you are. Let's move. Infiltration, main scenario. Okay, let me go on to here. Are we still in chapter four? That's what I want to find out. Yes, we still are in dawn of a new era. Oh. Nobody's in these halls. What? Oh. I can't believe we get to see the new president in person. Poorly trained soldiers, if they're not going to stop you as you're coming in. I guess they're assuming that you belong here. Classic. Two girls, a dog, and two guys. Naturally. What does that thing even <sighs> fire? security than I thought more worried about the parade mm -hmm. <clears throat> guess things have changed they got higher priorities personally I think that's a good thing the city's size on the other hand the robed men won't be easy to find they're definitely not here let's head into town how would they have gotten up in the first place into town it is a massive look at this it's like a Death Star. 
Oh my gosh. Floodlights. We cannot let Midgar win. Not on our own home turf. Hmm. Junon Aerodrome Airship. Oh. Any idea what that is? The highway. The highway. Generous pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. Yeah. Plus you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about. We're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, Somehow maybe we can choosers. sneak aboard. It's so like it's the combination of the white kind of like silvery metal with the gold. Look at this. Look at this. They really went all out. Can I go this way? I feel like this isn't good. This is pathetic. I've never seen such a sorry performance. Oh. Oh yeah, that was okay to be fair. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something here? If you want to check out the parade, take the elevator down. They're not even questioning. I know it wants me to go down. Can I talk to this guy? Oh, best not to get any closer. Fair enough. I want to explore everything. Oh, there's some more of those. They look like the little sand crabs. We cannot let Midgar win. Not I think they're going to have a lot of the same conversation. What's over here? Just, just five civilians just running around. Best not getting closer. Choo choo choo. Hmm. All right, we've got them refueling. They're surveying. I can jump across. What Junon is made of. What Junon is made of. The whole red carpet. Do not piss off Director Heidegger. Heidegger. Yeah. I was hoping not to run into any of them again, but wow, look at this thing. So interesting. It's crazy. They have quite the quite the air support going on. Missiles. Oh. Oh. Here we go. I was hoping there was something. No, we'll leave them be for now. They've seen us. They know we're here. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. get out of here, Enjoy. Rufus. Get out of my mind. <laughs> An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saruth. Oh, who's that? He introduced Mr. himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. All right. Hmm? Okay, I don't recognize this. Maybe it will be harder to find the people we're looking for since multiple people are running around in blacked out robes. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. What? Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Glenn. Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Hmm. Thank you. I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. <laughs> A new vision is required. <laughs> You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. 
On the cozy sit on the desk. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, you never give back. Also, the fact that he Left turned his you, back to him again. This world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right, beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. Mm. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. By war? What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. Oh. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm supposed to know who he is, and I must have just completely forgotten him, or I don't, and I've, we've never seen him. But he had a memory shooting this man in the back, so I do want to say that is a very like add insult to injury. I feel like because of the little tiny scene that we saw, him like positioning himself not only by like being disrespectful and sitting on the desk but turning his back to him is kind of just like hey like you thought you took me out before by shooting me when my back was turned but like it just kind of like taunts him by that same position i feel like but who is this person glenn i don't remember again i'm like trying to think i'm like is this from dlc am i like forgetting this or maybe this is the first time that we're seeing this character Wow. Okay. That was a very intense scene. I think also there's the whole Rufus is a dangerous individual because not only was he an heir, right? To Shinra and everything. And he was, yeah, he's his father's son in, in a couple ways, but I find that the sons or the people that know other people often look at them as you know, being given everything that they have, they are the most dangerous because they feel like they have something to prove. And when somebody feels like they need to earn respect or prove something, they will do it at whatever cost to think they're earning people's respect. But in reality, it's so far from the truth. And at the end of the day, the people that he's probably trying to win over, whether it's on the board, whether it's people that used to work with his father or even himself, even accomplishing whatever he thinks is going to prove his worth, it will be an empty shell even when he gets there. So this is going to be an interesting, his storyline is going to be very fascinating to follow along with no matter how long it lasts for. But yeah, I liked the, you know, he really dug into him right there by emphasis on air. Mm. Okay, so maybe new items? Possibly new items. Cool new cutscene. Let's check out the map real quick. Okay, we're still kind of in the industrial sector, the hangar. Slowly making our way to the town. This is cool. In a hangar. Tag carefully. Any mistakes will come out of your salary. Dang. As if they yes. could afford it. What is it. Oh, are you trying to get to the town below? Just take the elevator. Are they used to civilians just walking all what up in the hangar like do you this? Think a can on that size has got? Wait, before we go that way. Oh, yeah. Sure you never know. Okay, more items over here. Cool ships. Okay. Or I guess they're jets at this point. Might be able to go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Yes, yes. I love how it underlines in yellow. In search of lost robes. AKA, get the heck out. Stay in your lane. I get it, I get it. Check each what kind of range do you think a can mm, could, could be, be here, here right, right now. now? You never know. But I do want to know if Rufus was talking about acknowledging it was either something to do maybe with the black robes or he knows that we're here. That you represent Juna. 
Oh, the tank. Or maybe they don't realize... Maybe they trust us or they're letting us go by because they think I'm a soldier. I mean, they don't know I'm an ex-soldier, right? Think they'll let me put a sticker on my helmet? Ha, <laughs> as if. Think there'll be new directors too, or? New directors. That is so true. I didn't even think about... Okay. So, Cloud, City by the sea. You? It's a key military outpost with its own offshore reactor. A critical line of defense against any seaborne assault. When needed, it can transform into an armed fortress. Mm. Its strategic location, along with its air and seaports, make it second only to Midgar as the company's most vital city. Huh. Neat. Any <laughs> restaurants? Sights to see? The food is what I want to talk about. Me and Aerith are on the same page. Uh, right. You're not the touristy type. Hey, just to be clear, you do realize we're not here on vacation, right? Of course I do. Hey, Maybe a little look, bit of both. What's that about? Listen up. Midgar's seventh infantry Commander. will return home with the president's commendation. Let's oh. show him how a real drill team does it. And make our city Drilling. <gasps> Troopers, you're They're doing who to us? Until the parade begins. But use this time wisely. Practice your technique. Commander <gasps> Junton. Wow, look at that. They start walking and then they break into a run. Oh, back formation. Oh. The formality, I like it though. I think this is a little bit different side of watching and seeing Shinra's kind of forces. It does give you the sense that it is a military outpost. Those troopers seemed pretty psyched for the parade, huh? More like eager to prance around for their new paymaster. <laughs> oh. Now, I know what y'all gonna say, but I gotta ask. What? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? And is Yuffie gonna try to assassinate him? Hell, I'm not saying we kill the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. What? First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. No, that was a personal okay. vendetta, I think. I think they're separate. You can't just walk up to the president in the street. Unless... We disguise? Maybe we can. Disguises. We bust up his parade. Dress up as a no. Moogle, infiltrate the parade. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> the city's crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Okay, maybe as soldiers, not Moogles, get but... In, get close, get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. <laughs> Barrett, Brett, you guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have to think of something different. Mascot. True enough. Shut up. All right. See you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. <laughs> what oh, were you gonna... coming with? I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. <laughs> and the complications continue. All right, sorry, fatigues. Still in, we're still in chapter four, right? I just wanna make sure. No, wait. No, I think we're in chapter, hold up. No, we're still in chapter four. All troopers, spare uniforms can be found here. Please get changed. The ceremony I mean, this will help. Locker room? Talking. They just have people rolling into the locker room? They're actually kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Where's the person handing out the uniforms? What? Whoa there. Three steps back, if you please. Oh. <laughs> Tifa, do you feel the same way? 
Hello, old friend. Uh, I guess we should grab a uniform, too. Oh, okay. Stop looking that way, Cloud. Look up forward. It's just interesting. I guess this is where they store a lot of their stuff, though, if this is also the locker room. Have a blast. Oh. What do we have here? They should have put a weapon here. Survival vest. Hold on, that could be good for Barrett. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bulletproof vest mark two. Increases vitality by 10%. Oh, I don't know, guys. Part two is increases max HP by 250 and vitality by 5%. But we could throw that on red. Beastman arm brand. Oh. No, I don't want to do... Oh, it's in this one, isn't it? Yeah. He has increased the speed by 10%. Yeah, no, no, no. I think that's good. Let's do bulletproof vest. Not bulletproof vest. Uh, survival vest. That might actually be good for Cloud. He has power risk guards. Increase his strength by 10. You know what? No, no, no. Let's do survival vest. Vitality by 10. Also, what am I doing? What am I doing? ATB charge up rate. Attack power by 20. Weapon ability ATB replenishes ATB gauge by 5% when using a weapon ability. I mean, I do use their weapon abilities pretty often. Increases the number of consecutive slashes with stronger attacks in Punisher mode. I want to see the unrelenting Punisher. I do. Healing, item master, fire and ice, and then we have enemy skill and assess. Let's go here and do not cleansing. I think we should throw wind on him because I feel like I'm always running out of wind. HP up materia. I have one on Barrett. We could HP up materia. Make him like very strong. Or do we go wind? I'm gonna do HP up. We need to do their... I think we need to dedicate some time, maybe at the end of this episode or next, just to go through all of Chadley's uh, tests. That way we can just pick up as much extra materia as possible. Mm. Should be up here. Am I to change out here? Been a while. <laughs> so his story, right? I guess he would have started by joining. So see, what I'm kind of trying to think in my head is it similar to? Is it similar to like? You would go through basic training and you would have this soldier garb and then you go through, I don't know, I guess like let's let's explain it through like buds, right? Do they go through like something like buds where they're testing to be somebody like a soldier and then if they make it through, then they become a part of the soldier program or if they don't make it through, they get washed out into being a part of the normal uh, military and they just get given a different like, uh, I would call it an AFSC, but a different job title you know or did he start as a soldier and or did he start as just infantry or whatever and then eventually was granted access to the soldier program like then he had to go and apply to be in it i wonder what their like process is for becoming a soldier i imagine you'd all have to go through a basic training Freeze. hands up oh my gosh they're enjoying this too much <laughs> Well? Well? I mean, they kind of rock it. You got me. <laughs> the only downside to this is that they wouldn't have the same freedom. Like, if they're caught in the I'd wrong spot. The part. Maybe. Rain on his parade. Don't forget, you gotta act the part, too. Yeah. Just do what I do, all right? He's like, this is serious. Um, yeah, I feel like just as much freedom as they're granted for being soldiers, and it does cover them and uh, like it does a great job at blending in i feel like it could bite them in the butt too are they marching are they play marching back there just because if they're caught out in the wrong spot oh my gosh tifa's still doing the thing with her knees where her knees bent in even in the uniform i feel like they would be oh, more likely you. to be told what to do yep It's the damnedest 
thing. But I don't recall seeing the three of you at yep, practice. Yep, there it is. Am I to assume that you simply forgot? We overslept? Sorry, sir. <laughs> sorry, sir. <laughs> You're sorry? Do you have any idea how important today's ceremony is? Do you maggot? Oh my gosh. Form check now. You will give your commander a flawless performance. And if you show her anything less than perfection, I'll feed your ass to a behemoth. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually amazing. Now what? We have to perform. Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? He's such the, the is waiting. perfect, Sir. like, drill sergeant, almost. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Attention! That, that gave me flashbacks. Oh, gosh. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That or your idiots. Commander? Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Clear? I love her office. Stop. <laughs> Performing in the parade. Okay, this is awesome. I don't know if you guys do, like, I don't know if this had any sort of part to play in the original, but y'all had to have known this was gonna make me laugh. Oh, press the corresponding button when the glowing marker. Okay, so it's giving me Market Street. Yeah, I'm feeling the same way with the dance performance, but now, now it's getting a little scarier. Okay, we gotta perform for the commander. Uh, press the corresponding button. Red diamonds tap the button. Yellow pentagons repeatedly tap. Okay, wait, this is really important. Teal or hold the button. Yellow is repeatedly tap and diamonds are just tap at once. Red tap once. Pentagons multiple times. Teal, hold. Oh gosh. All right. Oh no. The amount of times that they broke formation, even just looking at Let's each other. see what you've got. Now, begin. Practice. Okay, red. Red is once. Red is tap once. Oh my goodness. Come on, tap once. That was a little, almost too soon. I gotta be careful. It's because it moves you around that it makes it a little bit more difficult. Okay, so we're holding. Hold on the button at the right time. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold. And release. Hold. Oh, I did the wrong one. Oh. It's because I'm so, I'm such a, you guys know I'm such a Xbox. I'm an Xbox girly, so I, I remember that more than anything. Oh, I pressed too much. Okay. Not good enough. I'm not laughing, troopers. This practice is bad. Should I practice again before we do it? Am I even allowed to practice again? Practice, let's practice one more time. Because if All we right. mess this up. Once more. The pressing once are easy, I got that. And I gotta remember that I'm using a PlayStation let's controller. See what you've got. <laughs> Begin. I hope it's the same, but there's no way they're gonna do that and make it that easy. X. Nice. <laughs> this is really impressive, though. The people that do this, it's super impressive. Couldn't be me. Hold. Holds easy. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And release. Beautiful. Hold. Release. Not the best to release, but... Okay, so let's test this. Rapid tap. Okay, so you, oh, so you just have to, oh, I got it. You have to get it down before you hit the next mark. Okay, that was good. Perfect. We got this. One good, 10 grades. Let's go time. Precise. 
clean movements. Impeccable timing. I must say, you've impressed oh. me. Oh. The practice was the performance? Serve as a sterling example to the others, ma'am. We have to do it in front of people? Congratulations! You are hereby promoted to parade captain of Midgar's 7th Infantry. What? <laughs> they went from- You will be our model trooper. The one to march at the okay. head of our drill team. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. Ma'am. Ma'am. Wow, oh, different helmet. Oh. That's a tight fit. <laughs> As parade, Captain, you will round up your fellow troopers currently on leave in Larboard Junon. You will recall that to march in the parade, each drill team is required to muster five units or more. Look for the seven Sprassards. They'll identify the best from the rest. Okay. The seventh says well. Once That's kind assembled, of assembled, you and the team will report to Starboard Junon. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Now, make us proud. Ma'am. Ma if you fail that practice, but you say you don't need to practice anymore, does the same thing happen? Oh, as parade captain, it falls to you to locate the seventh infantry's disparate units and assemble your drill team. This is so cute too, and I'm sure it's intentional that they picked seventh infantry, seventh heaven, you know? When you have found at least five units, you can fine tune your performance lineup with L2. Note that the certain units unlock different formations. Successfully performing more difficult formations will improve your rating. I like this. This is very different than anything I feel like I've ever played or seen. Look at this office, no eye in team. Oh, the green leather chairs. Oh, this desk too. This isn't even like a desk. This is like an intense meeting space. It's just got a picture of the boat. Beautiful, oh, sorry. Still haven't assembled your team, Captain. All right. I'm sure some of your fellow troopers fell into a bottle or two. Try the bars around town. Get your team in order, Captain. That's an order. Uh, I like this. This was the question that I had. I was like, how are they going to navigate throughout the town? And now it makes complete sense. This is a big opportunity. I went from oversleeping and almost getting reamed so you to not blow it. becoming a captain. <laughs> still have an okay, a she's antagonizing me still. In Let's do this. This must be like the kind of command room-ish. They address that Boy, extremely well. That was lucky. Hey, you sure about this? Is the parade really gonna get us to Rufus? The parade won't, but the presidential commendation will. That's how these things go. Oh. The president himself yes. gives the award. Wow, that's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but gotta go big or go home. Hell right? yeah. That's such a smart way to get us in front of the president. Once again, this game shocks me with their attention to detail and ability to answer, I think, a lot of questions that come up with the flow. I think if they hadn't done something like that, I would have been so curious how they were able to get away with this. Labard Junon. Larboard. Is it Larboard? Larboard? The best beer. Cool. Wow. The troops, Captain. Yeah. Just remember. Midgar, 7th Infantry. Midgar, 7th Infantry. Anyone with one of these guys, right? Come on. She's so excited. This is so well done. Locate the 7th Infantry. Look, they have old-fashioned little telephone booths. Oh, what's happening here? They're recording to me. Oh, Rufus. Do you have a moment to spare? I'd like to interview you, if that's all right. Thank you so much. Have you come here today to see the inauguration parade? Yes. My wife was insistent that we come out to support the new president. Mm. I see. Next, if you were to guess, which unit do you think will go home with the president's commendation? Oh. My gills on the mobile unit. I'll put on a good show. Mobile's washed up. Come on. 
Everybody knows mobile's gonna flop this year. Disrespectful. Out of all the military parades we've been to, I've got a feeling this one's gonna be special. Oh. <gasps> Look at the marbling. I peeked in on some of the rehearsals and the troopers were fired up. Wow. Nothing I've seen before. That enthusiasm makes all the difference. Got more units we need to have enthusiasm? I don't know if we're gonna win them. We even got a famous composer to write a brand new arrangement of the military march. That's crazy! Sorry. And it's all thanks to our new president. All they thanks to our new president. That. Are you even listening to a oh. word I said? Oh? If they had tried that, Midgar would have been blown to bits. If who had tried it? Yeah. Hmm. It's so... Daddy, make it move. I want to see it move. What? I'm afraid even I can't lose that. But I can buy you any souvenir you want. <sighs> no, I don't want a souvenir. I want to see the big cannon move. That's what he wants to see? The big cannon move? I like these. These are something that I think is really cute, and it just adds a little warmth to the area. It's really nice. <gasps> Here we go. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. It's <laughs> bigger than big. It's humongous. It's and true. And totally worthless. We haven't used it in years. Not since the war. An instrument of death laid to Got rest. Got there. Huh. There is something kind of poetic about that. Mm. Just poetic. What? We're trying to enjoy the view. Excuse me? It's the captain. Oh. Um. I, uh, captain. Get your shit together. The parade's about <laughs> to begin. Everyone, get your me. shit together. Yes, sir. I'm done. A new unit has joined your drill team. All right, one out of ten. Cute little patios. Look at the green and the blues. The shades in this area are really nice. Wait, meditations, outlaws, an autobiography by Gus. Oh, here's my troop. Oh, look at all the presents. Wait, look at the, the chocobo cats. Oh, there's that drink that we always see. Sir, welcome Shh. back, sir. Welcome back, sir. All right, pipe it down a little. Beaufort, ride the wind. Shinra whiskey, Ready single malt. Are, sir. All right. sir. Relax, relax, stay. Stay, stay, stop looking at me. <laughs> Okay, let's go over here. I see cotton candy. <gasps> oh, that looks so good. Let's see what's happening over here. I'm with JSN. JSN. We're conducting interviews. If you could spare a moment of your time. First mm. of all, what do you think about the presidential inauguration being held here in Junon? I think it's great. I can't wait to hear what the president will say for his inauguration speech. Thank you very yeah. much. Okay, one more question. Who's gonna win? Any expectations oh. for our new president? It's a good I question. To step up more as a world leader. Thank you again for giving us your time. Let's see what some of the other people here today mm. have to say. Excuse me, I'm with you. Do they have somebody else too? We're conducting interviews. If you could spare a moment of your time, first of all, what do you think? I want to see if it's the same conversation. Being held here in Juno. Oh, I go silent. Hey, Seven, ten, huh? out there. Sir. No, stay put. Don't follow me everywhere. Oh no. Recommends checking out this bookstore. Wow. <gasps> I was not expecting this. It's oh my gosh, this feels like Bioshock. So, this is the latest in June on fashion, is it? Is that it? Well, Ooh. Right, Let's see what you got for me. They have a thing for bright colors. I like well, it. What's this? Elements of military design subtly worked in. How so? The people's tastes in the lead up to the inauguration. Hmm. Not bad. They like little buggies. Not bad at all. Oh, that same wallpaper that I love so much. Is it giving a little bit of a military style? Maybe the pleats? Is it the pleats? So we have a clothing company. Wow, look at this. That's immaculate. Fancy doors. I feel like I'm in an amusement park right now. Seaside Delights. <gasps> the same eclairs. Oh. And look. There's a violin. No, she doesn't talk. We've got more people over here. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Rue? 
There is a secret. Oh. Very fishy. Very fishy. The glabrescent bar. And there's a cat. Could there be more troops down here? Absolutely. The glabrescent? It is rude. Okay. Good morning. Oh. No, not my hair. No, 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 not my hair. It's a bald bar? Drink with us. You're gonna have to lose the helmets. No scalp, no service. What? <laughs> Stop. Well, <laughs> what are you waiting for? Unless. Are you three mop heads? Wait, he's our new captain. He didn't know. <sighs> Sir, this place is for the clean shaven. You need to prove that you belong or leave. Uh. No way. R and R's over, people. Seven, outside. Sir, right away, sir. <laughs> hey, off with the helmets. So good to be unburdened. Aren't you hot? Why don't you take that off? No, nobody needs to see what's underneath this helmet. The Bald Brothers. Emerald C. Deep dive into Emerald C. Ruby Red. Alright, buddy. Hey, if you want to drink here, the helmet has to go. This establishment only caters to those who boldly bear their baldness. Boldly bear their baldness. You're participating in the president's inauguration parade. Good luck. Good luck. I think that's probably it. All right, we're getting out of here. Smooth head, shining bright. I... I... I don't know what I was expecting, but it was, I could have never thought, oh my goodness, this is scary. There's so many of them following me around. Okay, so we have the same theme all over here. We've got the full arsenal, we've got materia, item vendor, and a rest spot, but I don't see any Queen's Blood players. See these? Oh. Special models made just for the inauguration. Oh, inauguration models. Oh, I like their uniform. Why is their uniform different? They've got camos. Huh. There's no beating Junon made hardware. Oh, oh. Nope. What's down here? <gasps> the herringbone floor. Shame I can't take this baby home. Oh, but you know, there's somebody the to talk to here. Ones are real is this another part of the seventh? Hmm? This Let is. You're here for the limited model too? Sister Ray, is that what it's called? You <laughs> uh, Captain! Please forgive me, sir! Break time's over. Outside. Now. Why do they have right yellow away, camo uniforms? They're not like desert cams. Sister Ray. There's a little mini model of it. <laughs> I want to collect the models. Okay, but let's go upstairs and see if we can buy anything special. Maybe we can buy the inauguration version. Greetings, Captain. In need of some new armaments? Ginger, I see you looming outside. Wise Fox, weapons, nothing. Ugh. Good luck out there, Captain. I'll be rooting for you. I think we need to do a cat break, guys. Stamp rally. I want to see them do it. All right, next building. This old like bench. What's this woman waiting for? Till I see Rufus in the flesh. In the flesh. Wait, the Grand Hotel at Junon. Everything right, feels so need? grand. Look at this, I'm items, so materia. She's getting upset at me. <gasps> wow. Materia perfume? Materia perfume? <gasps> materia girl. 
this shop, everything is so luxurious. I mean, look at the wallpaper on the ceiling just screams money. The parade's gonna be broadcast live in Midgar. So we um, here we go. Can I help you? Captain? Yeah. Nice, quick! Put some respect Attention. behind it. Get your sir. shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone, Get it together. Follow me. <laughs> yes, sir! I think that's four now. Oh, Ginger, I know. Okay. Okay, let me let me do a ginger break. I'll be right back. <laughs> I know. So cat cuddles took a little bit longer than expected, but we're back. All right, we just got those people. Let's look Can at I the items here. And now I have cat hair all over my face. Mmm. I wish they had the high ether. Feel Nothing. Free to keep browsing. Plus, I feel like some of this stuff is overpriced. We carry only the finest in materia here. Hmm. Ice, poison, wind, chakra, says, steel, HP up, luck up, item. I would hardly say the finest. We look forward to your next visit. <laughs> Almost sounded like you are. Wow, look at my formation. Oh my goodness. Uh, I guess the rest that. Oh, red, what's happening? Nice uniforms. Aw, how did you know it was us? By your scent. That is some nose you got there, red. Leaving mm -hmm. the Mako-soaked streets of Midgar behind has done wonders for my faculties. Though this place is starting to take its toll. He's got tattoos! Those children won't stop staring. Have they so much as tried to pet me? <laughs> I may be clad in fur. But that, that doesn't, doesn't mean... mean That's a good line. Quite a good line. Oh, here we go. Stan. Oh, can you imagine if this was your office? Oh, just. Or like a library. Something's down here. Mm -hmm. I like that you can still go to the street side, too. From being right here. But there might be some people up top. Let's see. Welcome. Oh. Welcome to the Magical Magnata Books. June okay. On if June you're looking on location. for some recommendations, we'd be more than happy to name a few of this week's babes for you. My personal okay. pick would definitely be The Final Flight. I swear, none of the other books even come close to topping it. It's a forbidden romance between a commander <gasps> and her Erwin. I promise oh. you'll be sobbing like a baby when you get to the part where she orders her true love to charge into battle. No, she did not. Oh my goodness. If you want to know about a specific book, ask the girls for help. Huh? There's a lot of workers in this shop. More than we've ever seen before. Although I don't think there's anything I need. Our girls are lovely. Am I right? Yeah. Five fives. I wish you could buy Thanks, Captain. We books here, but we're going to have to find more Moogles. Oh, look at the register. Oh. Wait, was there something for me to interact with down here? Oh, her. Oh, well, hello there, Captain. Are you What's your favorite book? Knowing what my book of the week is? I think I'd probably have to go with the Trooper's Creed. It happens to be a philosophy book. Okay. There's some thought-provoking stuff about how people should live from the perspective of a trooper. Oh, but I'm sure you've already read it, being a captain and all. Yeah, 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 of course. Naturally. And your favorite Ooh, book? A captain! Since you're here, would you like to learn about the Magnata Girls picks for Book of the Week? My top pick would have to the be the King. Of Cactuar King. It's a must read. The king's been wandering for the past few volumes, but suddenly he looks around and what should he see? <laughs> no spoilers. Oh, come on. Yourself. Better start soon before someone ruins it for you. Can't leave me on. <sighs> Thanks for stopping by. And then what's up here? Shopping center? Th There's a third floor? <gasps> look. More items? Uh, bangles? Bracelets? Around. Quality guaranteed. Is he okay? I love how understated everything is here. The items are a little lackluster. I was expecting more different things unique to Junon. <laughs> the accessories from this place he doesn't sound so good. I could take on the world. <laughs> oh. 
Hey, what do you think about this brooch? It's fine. You think my girlfriend would like it? Let me take a closer look. This brooch has two machine guns on it, and you want to give it to your girlfriend? Bro. Yeah, you're right. I should go with the two bayonets. Oh, absolutely, the two bayonets. Oh, yes. Captain, perfect timing. I'm picking out a present for my girlfriend. Which do you think she'd like more? The machine gun brooch or the bayonet one? Don't bother the uh, captain with your bullshit. Sorry, sir. He's being an idiot. <laughs> r and R's over, people. Seven, outside. Yes, yes sir. sir! Oh, that's funny. One of my last chapters, I titled... What? Oh, my goodness. She was laying all cozy, and then as soon as my attention turns from her, now she wants to hang out. Okay, so we have five more troops left. So such a great way to make you have to kind of go around and explore the city. I've got to let her out. She has no respect for you guys, just so you know. Absolute no respect for y'all. Welcome! Welcome. I kind of like the flooring. It's like green and this deep burgundy. Thanks for stopping by. Oh my goodness. Let's go talk to the person down here. I know, Ginger. I'm gonna let you out. I don't know. Will you be staying with us? I guess I could rest here. I kind of want to see what happens if I do. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Look at the parade. the parade from my window. Ugh. I would normally not pay her any mind, but older cats, you know. I want to make sure she's happy. Oh, we still haven't seen what happened to Barrett either. And there is a third floor. There's a third floor with other stuff too. <gasps> is that a cafe? That's a lot of troopers. I have an entire army. Seventh Inventory. Okay, a new drawing for Shinra. And our city is eager to... I... Okay. All right, hold on. Let me just let her out real quick. I know, I know. Let's go. Come. Yep. I got my pets. I got my cuddles. Now I'm ready to go. You can get back to your games now. Thank you. It's been, like, really bad in this recording. I mean, if you guys have been here for a while, I, she's not normally like this. She's super lovely lately. Okay, Red's out there, but I went to a different spot. What is up here? This isn't the hotel. Barracks assembly room. Oh, there's definitely more people here. Yeah, whoa. Bags. Okay, presents. Lots of coffee cups. How it's a cool area. To participate in today's parade. I'll let them talk to them. All of us in the seventh have been practicing like crazy. Oh, day oh, oh. in and day out, drilling every little detail. I just hope that hard work comes through in our performance. He's hiding in the barracks. Came out to support our new president, something else to cheer about. I'm sure it will. But before we let you go, is there anything you'd like to say to the folks back in Midgard? Mm. This is a difficult time for our city. But when you see us marching today, just know this. We're marching for you. That's a pretty good answer. Okay. Let's get uh, our another troop. Four me, left. We're in the middle of an interview. Oh. Uh, good day, Captain. Uh, uh, oh, you're their captain. Uh -huh. This is perfect. If you have a moment, I'd love to ask you some questions about the parade. Uh, no. Sorry, but... How do you plan to set your team apart from the competition? I wasn't prepped for this. Routines you've been practicing? We, uh... Oh, I haven't even uh, thought about our... Right. I see what you mean, Captain. We can't go spilling our secrets to anyone who asks, especially on camera. Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Yep. Follow me. Sir! Trying to get us to say what our performance was going to be. Shame on them. Uh, let's go up to the third floor too. See if there's anybody. There's or actually, would this be the barracks briefing room? Yeah, I can't wait to see the mobile unit. It's all about the mobile team. Nobody trusts us. Nobody thinks we're gonna do it. Oh my goodness, those are cardboard cutouts. The are these waters and are they that? making little food kits? Midgar, that's for sure. Seeing the world, More people maybe? up on the third. Rufus cutouts? Are you kidding True me? That. I doubt it's got any idea what Midgar units can do. <laughs> Vial of Celerus. Yes, we just gotta go out there and introduce ourselves. We've got all these offices. Oh, another thing right there. Don't mind if I do. 
Let's grab these guys as well. I'm wondering if there's more than 10. It's past time the present. Not now, buddy. We're busy. <laughs> okay. Oh, captain, I didn't realize. Sorry, sir. Did they not already have Practice a captain picked over. out? Time for the real deal. With me. Yes, yes sir. sir. We haven't practiced at all, and the parade's gonna go on? This is dangerous. All right, seven out of 10. We're done with the barracks room. Let's go down one more. I'm just, I'm a wallpaper fiend nowadays. Is there anybody down here? Hundreds of troopers were assembled. This is gonna send me back out in the front. Let's see. Uh, you're about to see in a second. Oh my gosh, they just... Sir, they don't stop coming back, and they sir. don't stop welcome coming. Back, sir. Excuse me, sir. Do you think you could spare a minute? Uh, who? Me? Shinra yes, middle manager. You. I missed Did that. Did you come to Junon to watch the parade? No, but I happened to be here on business, so I figured I'd stick around. To, uh, witness the dawning of a glorious new era for our company. <laughs> A Shinra employee! Move! Okay, I want to take a picture. Stamp! 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 Okay, maybe I messed it up on that one. There's got to be another spot. Three more spots of finding people? Hmm. Oh, nope. 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 Don't go to her yet. We're not done. And you're sure the cameras are prepped? The parade's gonna start any minute now. Yep. Any minute now? I still need to find three more people. Three more whole troops. It's got to be on the inside. Y'all stay here. When you are, sir. Stand sir. by. It's me. Daddy's on television. Daddy's on television. Just Tango of tears. Troopers, the nightmare begins. Again, a Final Fantasy entire amusement park. Can you imagine? All right, this is the other side of here. Hmm. Maybe I must have missed all oh, popcorn. Up here, it's got to be up here. Yeah, there's got to be some at the movie. Oh yeah, I bet there's at least a group or two at the movie theater. This is another next level movie theater. So yeah, once the parade's over, I'll you be officially joining the counterterrorism unit. Oh. Shit. I know. They haven't even told me where I'm gonna be stationed. Mm. This sucks. Well, we'll just have to make the most of the time we got. Aww. Can we help you? We're kind of in the middle of something. Check the helmet. I'm kind of amazed by all the of them that are instantly dismissive of somebody sorry, interrupting sir. them. Break time's over. Outside. Like that's now. almost like their same narrative. Yes, go, go, go. This is way more than just a movie theater experience. You've got an entire bar. And a jazz group. Oh, God. Elena. Talk about humiliating. Oh. Me. The boss must want to fire me. I'm busy being sad. Okay. I'm busy being sad. Fair enough. The restaurant over there. They're killing it. Can I go down here? No. Is he talking about asking Elaine out? <laughs> She's got a real intense vibe about her. I just love the way they make all their cocktails in time to the music. They do? It's kind of impressive. Nothing here. We got the rest of them. There's no downstairs to be had, although there are a couple people. The cups are so different. What is this guy doing here? This is the one place Wouldn't it be great if a president stopped by for a drink? You really think he'd stop by in here? The town's a little bit smaller than I was expecting. I mean, I know this isn't this isn't the main town. It can't be. There's got to be a lot more to this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> here, let's go up here. I think the last couple ones are on the upstairs areas. Snacks. Newscaster. Oh, shoot. So it's not up here. Hmm. Mia, yeah, I missed them in some of the earlier areas. Hmm, we went down there. 
special occasion. There has to be more shops. We saw the person that was downstairs. Hmm. More. Oh, here? No. Everybody ready? Here. Y'all, what are you doing? Captain, would you mind taking the picture so I can get in there? <sighs> I love all the emphasis on ready, photos. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Can I zoom out? Oh, gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Dude, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's different poses. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Love it. Beautiful. Thanks a bunch. Gorgeous. Wow, Captain. Who knew you were such a pro? I might I just have to frame this. Great Obtain a Rufus over, Shinra people. cutout. Oh, no. Begin. Follow me. Yes, sir. The Rufus Shinra cutout. Stop. I mean, you know, for what it's worth, he makes a good cutout. So we just have one more left. Are they up here somewhere? Because I got one group Looking that was over here. Drink, Not here. Right, Massive pile of Barrett. Stop. Barrett, a sailor? Oh. <laughs> The white hey, uniform, too. Uh, uh, hey there. Uh, I was just checking my uniform. Uh, for lit. <laughs> Y'all know how it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't that the one of the uniforms that they call, like, the panty dropper or something? Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. I could have shot you. You look... Uh, what? Uh, wow. <laughs> it's not like I had a choice. Nothing else fit. Okay, I get it. Anyway, I checked out the way to the port. And y'all, uh... Red. Look like you're fitting in. Yeah. Nobody's bad at an eye. Except when Maybe we went in the bald bar. Commendation. <laughs> oh? <laughs> I'm sure you will. It's giving Popeye. Think you mean I'm rooting for you. Did you eat your spinach today? Let's see. Oh, wait, let me see if he says anything else. There's a lot of troopers in town, especially by the port. Because of the crowds, no mm. doubt. As long as we keep our heads down, we'll be okay. Wasn't feeling it at first, but I'm starting to appreciate the sheer audacity of us I like the pleats. The pleats in the front? Barrett's looking good. Okay, I don't think it's going to be over there. We're looking for the last... Okay. Hmm. Maybe the front? No, we went into the barracks. We've been in all three barrack spots. My dad's going to mess you up. Maybe it's on one of the other centers of the shopping floor. Because we... There's... Nobody in the materia shop, though. And then we went to the third floor, and that's where we saw the guy picking out the jewelry for his significant other. Doop doop. There you go. I heard that the owner used to be a soldier. He's got the degradation. Hi there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well Which done. means, is this like a, is this one of those cases where we basically know what's going to end up happening to Cloud? I guess that means that might be what's in store for us. Um, Cecilia's of Junon. No groupings in here. No. Oh, wait, have I been in here? Yes, and we saw the people up here. And we got the people down there. That's what it was. We grabbed some of the troops that were down there. You gotta press it hard, like, mm. We got some of them in... It's not in there. Not in folio shop. Not in the barracks. Soiree, we got some people. Mm-mm. It's just Barracks Lobby. Whew. Oh, wait. Here we go. 
Oh, the garrison reception. I must have just missed this. Should be around here. Or, oh, it could be downstairs or upstairs. Oh, yep, here it is, storeroom. Oh, 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 hold on. A free formation, 1,500. Remu? Sir, permission to ask a question. What formations do you intend to utilize for our performance? I haven't thought about it. That depends on the readiness of my men. But you can rest assured that your captain has everything under control. Is that clear? Now, out. Sir! Yes, yes sir! <laughs> Seventh assemble. Are there little... All right, let's pick up this stuff. And also we'll want to go upstairs to the top too. I don't think there were any extras. I think everybody was in their assigned spot. But what is all the way up here? Hmm. Don't talk to me. I'm trying to study. Okay. Time to watch parades. Okay. Let's go Not if I ever want to become a soldier. Oh, it's so dark down here. <gasps> Cats! Oh. Wedge. I keep telling you. Nothing's gonna happen. This dress. My stomach can't handle it. You better hit the head before Aww. the parade starts. Oh, I gotta go on the other side. Hold on. Oh, grab that. If I go now, then I'll end up having to go again during the Oh no, wait, Chadley. Chadley. Is what? there something I can help you with? What are you doing Scanning. in the barracks? Potential research candidate confirmed. Hmm. Huh. Cloud? Why in the world are you wearing <laughs> that uniform? On second thought, forget I asked. The less I know about your undercover pursuits, the better. Mm -hmm. Should you require assistance, let me know. Now then, Captain, how might I help you today? I love it. Develop materia. So I have these ones. I can all, uh, we might as well, I guess, should I just max them? I'd hate to have more than I need. Ah, uh, yeah, we can I hold can't off. Help but wonder where we'll meet next. So, so many fascinating possibilities. And you never know how, don't talk to me. I don't want to do this anymore. Stop. All right, you guys, let's go. Get ready to perform. Oh, oh, not my chair, not my problem. Find what you need to serve. Serve. Yes. Turn around, everybody. About face, let's go. They look spectacular. It's time. Midgard, 7th Infantry. Reporting is ordered, ma'am. See our whole time. squad. Good. <laughs> The parade is scheduled to begin shortly. I trust your team is ready, Captain? Yeah, we've practiced so many times. I need more practice. Adjust rail formation. Oh, I need more. Oh. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, we need to practice. Yeah, we definitely need to practice. Difficulty. Guaranteed to show the crowd that seventh, seventh patriotism burns bright. Input count medium. Buttons utilized. All of them. Includes held input. Includes rapid tap. Hmm. A performance sure to shock the crowd. Get it? <laughs> performance sure to give the crowd the chill. Shiva. I would almost say... I would almost say this one. First performance. Okay, wait. So I'm, I'm trying to understand this. Okay, so adjusting, adjusting this. Formation bonus. Security officers. Replace unit change formations. Oh, okay. So you can move where they are positioned. But what's the best formation bonus too? Mm. We could switch out the riot for over there. We need to, oh, with this formation, we can do the Bahamut. Okay, so now the Ramu is, okay, so I think we want the most difficult one to really get a three-star performance. Guaranteed to show the crowd that the seventh patriotism burns bright and put count high. Should we do Ifrit? Or, wait, Flame Trooper. Okay, hold on. Start with the Flame Trooper. Shiva's performance, three-star. I think we're trying to make them all be a three-star performance, no? 
Okay, there's two three stars now. Now Ifrit's isn't high enough. Let me try switching out for this. There we go. That's three three star performances. If we do it right, which it will be difficult, but if we do this right. The security officer is in the reserve. <laughs> okay, let's practice with this and see. All right. What's more? Sir. Are we practicing with our current setup? Oh no. Let's or is it see what you've got? Now, begin. Oh gosh. I think this is just normal practice. This is the normal one. Boom. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. But you can never be too sure. Not to be quick with it. Not good enough. Oh, come on, Commandant. Commander. Hold the buttons. Ready? Boom. Hold. And release. Beautiful. Good. X. Keep it up. Gorgeous. And then we gotta go wrap a tap, ready? Nice. And then I think we go to X. I think it's X next. Okay, the rapid press is actually hard for my thumbs. I think that was like mostly excellence with a couple goods, maybe two goods. Zero. Zero goods? Okay, we did great. How come he said we were crap at one point? All right, I think it's time. This is gonna be so difficult. But three three-star performances? What could go wrong? Midgar 7th Infantry! Attention! Oh. I gotta get my thumb ready. You're on. Thanks. Listen up. As we march, the eyes of the whole world will be watching mm -hmm. us and we uh... you got this. and we cannot we will not let our great city of midgar down Oof. failure is not an option get him there eh? it's a big ask but we can do it together because we have our captain to guide us Look to him, trust in him, as and he will lead us to victory, so long as we follow. Isn't that right, sir? Uh, right. Now bring it home. I was gonna say, he needs to say more, otherwise it just looks like they just the absolutely ran him day. over. It was made for the 7th Infantry. We will win that commendation for our city. Let's go! And we will return home as champions! Yes, sir. And we will hold the line. Who's gonna show the rest of them how it's done? We are! I can't hear you! We are! Get it! <laughs> Captain, the parade's about to start. Uh. <laughs> Don't wanna be late, sir. Getting a little carried away. <laughs> okay, this is three, three stars. This is not gonna go over. Very well. When did we last use her? Five years ago, sir. Oh, the cannon. Let's blow off the dust. But, but, sir. Even a ceremonial display would constitute a violation of the ceasefire. Wutai would view it as a willful act of aggression. Oh. And? Mm hmm. It's a new era. Let's ring it in with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, sir. Very good. Such a Nothing lapdog. Like fireworks to rouse the spirits. Mr. President, it's time. I love his desk. <sighs> Something tells me the emissary may be didn't help out that much. So a lot of people Damn. watching us. Yeah. This way. 
The sun setting too. Welcome to the celebration of the century. As you can see, the streets of Junon are abuzz with excitement. People have turned out in droves to catch a glimpse of the new president, Rufus Shinra. And here no, comes Midgar's my... mobile unit. That's Their the mobile unit? Are truly a sight to behold. <laughs> of course he leads them, of course. And that's our competition. Rufus driving in this car. <laughs> the pomp and circumstance. There he is, folks. Rufus Shinra. Wow, can you even hear me over this crowd? How do you keep the leather interior so white the whole time? I just uh, want to know how all this the stuff. The president has stopped. No. So his first thing when he gets inaugurated is firing off a cannon and essentially declaring war. Ready to fire, sir. Welcome to the New World Order. Fire! It has it lodged in or something. Ladies and gentlemen, with a single blast of Junon's famous cannon, Rufus Shinra has announced his arrival. <sighs> Hold on, was that a cameo by somebody? Because that did not look like somebody who belongs in the game. Like something about his whole attire did not look... Oh, yeah. This was... I remember this guy from the trailer and I didn't know who it was. He wanted that, though. I think that's why he instigated and just kind of like dug at him he earlier. He wanted this. They the wanted this. The and he position. fell straight into it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Midgar 7th Infantry. The captain and his oh, team no. have trained long and hard, <laughs> determined to win the presidential commendation for everyone back home in Midgar. I can't wait to oh, see gosh. what kind of performance they'll put on today. Troopers yeah. of the 7th Infantry make us proud. Yeah, Sector 7. Left face. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Formation change. Okay. Holy cow. It's oh. good, but they can surely oh. do better. I can't take my eyes off mm. them. Oh. Not in step. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't Final even know what that sequence. button was. Begin. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Keep it, keep it tight. Keep it tight. Oh, I missed it, I missed it. Nice. Oh no. I'm a mess. Solid work. That practice is paying off. It's so hard to see where it's coming from. They oh. did practice, right? Stop, stop. <laughs> It all looks a little stiff. Oi! Oh no. How am I missing those? Bad seven bad performances? That concludes the first part of today's no, no, performance no, 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 no. by the seventh infantry drill team. Our judges okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. The votes from we're good, we gotta viewers. pull it together. And here they are now. Based on that, the seventh is off to a yes. solid start. But I gotta crush this. build on this beginning? Let's it came out of nowhere. Next. Come on. Real team. Halt. Shiva. Shiva performance. First sequence. Begin. B. Oh, I forgot that's a hold. That's a hold. I should have known better. That's I meant to hold. All. No. Blue is hold. Yellow is stop. How am I Jace. missing those? They've still got a chance. Yeah, we do. I just wish we weren't moving so much Practice with it. Makes perfect. And boom, boom. Their movement is so crisp and clean. And Begin. boom. The triangles, for some reason, I cannot hit. It all looks so effortless. Hold. Hold the line. And hit it with a B. You're beautiful, in the beautiful. Making, Finish off. I'm not sure they know what they're doing. Okay, less bads. 
Less pads. And with that, the 7th <sighs> Infantry concludes the second part of their performance. As ever, our judges have been busy tallying all the votes we've received. So I think we still are doing good. The Where are we at? Universal acclaim and little wonder given the yes! and coordination on display. We just have to smash this last one and we'll be good. Keep this up and the seventh might well be destined for glory. I wouldn't bet against them. We got this final, final show. It's all because we're doing three-star performances. Face. Formation change. Oh no. Those triangles, I cannot hit them. So okay, far, beautiful. So good. First star, not so great, but we can do this. Circles, circles. Yeah. Still warming up. This is ah. looking promising. What is this? <laughs> this is hell for me. <laughs> dune, dune, dune. Oh, it's an X. I'm missing so many. I think the only reason Drill that team. Oh, they're doing quite Drill well. Team shift. I don't even know where we're going. X, X, X. Oh, I missed it. Triangles. Final sequence. Begin. <laughs> I hate that they're rotating them. X, still got B. A yeah, we do. We still got this. X. X. In perfect it's gonna be a hold. Rapid fire. You're watching history in the Square making, circle. Folks. Woo! Let's go! Horrible. We can do this. And with that, we reach the end show. of the seven <laughs> infantry's performance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> For the final time, oh. the judges are tallying the votes. You know, you can't win them all. <laughs> and now, let's see the results. In the end, then, Midgar 7th provided a satisfying conclusion to today's parade. But not good enough. But the question remains, will their <sighs> efforts be enough to impress our new president? Come let's on! Wait and see. What did the mobile team get? Coming up next, the moment of truth for our uh. competitors. Which team will take home the commendation? Stay the flyover. To find out. The flyover. Oh no, it's definitely not gonna be us. I don't know. Oh no. They saw him. <gasps> he knows our faces too well. Yes, sir. Around the clock. They remain unaware. Leave them to me. I want you and your people tracking the ropes. They're going to pick us intentionally. Understood. He wants this. And we're falling right into the trap. We're back Shit. on the clock. I trust you know the mission by now. This is all getting so interesting. My huh? friends, allow me to congratulate you on a stirring performance. You've done your company proud. Your passion and patriotism is beyond question. And I know our president can't wait to thank you all. <laughs> of course, some among you are deserving of special praise. For our first award, we will recognize the division whose exemplary display eclipsed all others. Now I'll never know if it's because of our performance or because he wants to the get us- The prize for outstanding performance goes to- Come on. Midgar's mobile unit. No. I, I shouldn't have done the difficulty. I should have gone with easier ones and just got more people that... Uh, how many points did they do? You probably had to get over 100,000. Uh, That's stupid. I wonder if you had to break 100...
He does not like him. <laughs> but that was outstanding performance. That's fine. Again, maybe it was scripted. I think they were scripted to win no matter what. I think we're going to get the Next, other award. Yeah. The president's commendation. Which we know who's going to get it because it's a trap. You would do the honor, sir. It's even worse that he's not bad looking either. Just makes you hate him more. The late president, my father, single-handedly turned a small arms manufacturer into the greatest company the world has ever seen and transformed all of our lives with the miracle of Mako. So I invite you to join me in a moment of silence for a great man gone too soon. Great writing by whoever's on his team. We live in challenging times. Some may feel that I am too young, too inexperienced to lead us. But to them and to you all, I say this. The Shinra Electric Power Company will endure. The challenges we face can be overcome if we summon our courage and cut ties with the past. Damn it, he's Yesterday good at talking. Yesterday is behind us. We must look instead to the promise of tomorrow, for today is a new day, and the first of a long, arduous journey which we must take together. Follow me, and we will reach our promised land. This I do solemnly swear before you all, as president of the Shinra Electric Power Company. My friends, place your trust in me, and together will we achieve our dream of a better world. He absolutely will have won the hearts of the citizens because he knows how to speak. He's he's very much a silver tongue, I feel like. Or it's just well written by somebody bond now, behind him. I have a commendation to present. Hmm. The award goes to Seventh. Midgar's seventh infantry. Woo, woo, woo. Scripted or not, I'm gonna take it! My relationship has changed! I still feel like we deserved it. I do. We didn't do half bad. Celebratory squats all around. How are you supposed to compete with a mobile unit, you know? To accept this award on behalf of the team. These three. <laughs> three of the best will now join me. Come on up. You can just hear it in his voice. You can just the tell. The president has invited three members of the 7th Infantry to come and accept the award on the drill team's behalf. Oh. Salute! Loud. Your performance today was nothing short of incredible. Midgar's 7th Infantry is, without a doubt, the pride of our people. Congratulations. With hmm. generous praise, the President offers his congratulations to the team. One can only imagine what those three troopers Yes. Yeah. I have a few private words to say to these troopers. Cut the feed. Sir, you, you're on crowd control. That's not good. <sighs> that ain't right. Excuse me, uh, need to get through. It's a good thing that they weren't Over all there. in formation. Huh? Yuffie, she's gonna try to. Oh no, she's gonna film it. <gasps> oh, this could be good. If she gets in position and can I film this. I rarely talk to the rank and file. Why not take off your helmet? Hmm. Cloud strife. That was a first class performance. One worthy of a soldier.
Joke's on you, we shaved our head to get into the bar. <laughs> oh, you! Me. Stand down. But, sir! Like I said, lapdog. You are a fascinating individual, Cloud Strife. Your file was as gripping as it was enlightening. He's gonna divulge Which something we don't know. I have a proposition for you. At present, Midgar requires my full and undivided attention. The city is Shinra's beating heart. Its devastation is a humiliation, and the world must see us rebuild. To that end, I need to refocus my efforts and push certain duties to one side. Get to the point. My father left me a mountain of unfinished tasks, like the recapture of a fugitive of ancient descent, the recovery of a stolen lab specimen, and of course, the arrest and execution of Avalanche. <sighs> hmm. None of which, frankly, are of any interest to me whatsoever. I'd gladly wash my hands of it all. So what? You're gonna let us go? Just like that? Not for free. Yes. Provided you keep your distance from Midgar, that is. No more stirring the proverbial pot. Hm. And the same goes for me? But why? Because I have a new vision for Shinra. So we go free. And you get... Sephiroth, dead. What? He's an unsavory relic of our past. And I want him gone. But in our current state, Shinra lacks the resources to get the job done. Huh. So I turn to you. I did not it's see this. Deal. What? Striking a deal you with Rufus? I take it. The guys in black robes. Don't tell him the information we have. Clever you. You know who they are, don't you? Of According course. According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Follow them and you'll find him. Right. I think this means we're gonna get in that airship. If we're now striking a deal with him? Seems like a good way up. Oh, time to patient her. I have so many thoughts and questions and now we're playing as Yuffie and uh, what? The part that kills me the most is I'm leaving on a cliffhanger just as much as you guys are because I can't keep recording today. I have to stop. No. Oh my gosh. Rufus. Rufus has a new vision. He wants Sephiroth dead. That doesn't necessarily align with what we want either, though. And what? Like, I know we're trying to get to Sephiroth, but to what end? I still don't understand. And what does this mean? And also him firing off the cannon, does that not, like, bring Wutai into this too and complicate the whole situation? I just, what is he thinking? Ah, oh, and he doesn't even care about Aerith anymore. But I'm confused too, because he's talking about leading them to the promised land. Does the promised land look different for him? Are we using that word choice to trick us into thinking that he's still chasing after? Because if that's true, then he would want Aerith. Or is he just, honestly, he's probably using us to kill two birds, one stone, if I had to guess. Why have your own men trying to go after Sephiroth when you can have us, which have clearly beaten the Turks multiple times, which happen to be like some of their best of their best. And he happens to know based off of our file that we have some kind of relation with Sephiroth. So I feel like he's like, you know what? I'll play this game. Let me strike a deal with you guys. Y'all take out Sephiroth for me because we have a common objective. And then when we get towards the end of it, then I will completely backstab you. We've seen him before. He shot a man in the back. Why would he not do it to us? Oh. Oh my goodness, and now we have Yuffie that's trying to assassinate him too. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've got to run. I, I, I hate leaving on this note, but this is a good place to stop anyway because the video is getting long. Ah, okay.
We'll be back. That was such a fun mission. I liked getting to see the top side, Junon. I liked getting to do the whole uh, performance. The whole performance of it was really fun. Again, they just find this beautiful way to incorporate uh, some of the same old things that we saw from part one while keeping us on our toes, surprising us. We had a lot more cutscenes in this part because we're a lot more heavy on the main missions, right? But, oh, there's so many thoughts that I have. And now I got to sit on this before I can find out what happens next. We all have to sit on it. Well, until next time, guys, um, horrible performance, as I said earlier, but I still enjoyed it. And I just had a blast regardless. I'm pretty sure you can't even win the first accommodation anyway. I don't know. You guys let me know down below. But I will take it for being on hard mode. It's just so difficult because they rotate them and then the way that they like swoop around, my brain is just following that and not thinking about what I need to press next. And I'm going to stop making up excuses. Let me know how you guys did. Let me know what performances you chose to do in what order. And I will see you guys for the next episode. Bye, YouTube.